But it still looks good on you. <laughs> I don't know about that. <laughs> it does. It still looks good, and it still fits. Yeah. His leather bomber jacket is a time capsule. Its well-worn creases a silent tribute to his battles over Nazi-occupied France. Goldie Gold Sticker Jr., D-Day 80th. At 102 years old, Ralph Goldsticker returns to Normandy this week for the 80th anniversary of D-Day, a defining moment of the 20th century that he helped shape as a young B-17 bombardier. We went out of our planes at about 2 o'clock in the morning. Goldsticker flew two harrowing missions on June 6, 1944 dropping bombs on German gun placements just ahead of the Allied landings on the beaches below. We had to fly to Scotland, get in bomber streams, come back and hit the beaches. Goldsticker and his crew spent over 14 hours in the air that fateful day as part of that massive aerial armada unleashed on Hitler's defenses. That afternoon it was clear and the morning was cloudy but I could see the whole harbor. The invasion force was staggering. 7,000 ships and landing craft, a testament to the scale and importance of the operation. Though D-Day marked the beginning of the end for Nazi Germany, Ralph Goldsticker is still a reluctant hero. There are 16 million of us in the armed forces during World War II, whether you're a cook or a weatherman or a truck driver. It took all of us to make the to win. This is laying on my bunk after the Russian attack. The past is ever present in this veteran's home. This is my first mission, and then this is Normandy. With maps, letters, and precious memorabilia serving as tangible reminders of his service. Among his most prized possessions, the Distinguished Flying Cross and the French Legion of Honor, France's highest distinction. Heroes get those. Right. <laughs> right? Yep. Okay. <laughs> Though he's 102, Ralph Goldsticker still lives independently. His wife Helen died in 2012. And now he's gearing up for another transatlantic journey. We're going to be laying a wreath at, uh, I think, three different cemeteries, the group I'm with. And what will you be thinking about? So I, we owe a debt to those that didn't come back. I was lucky, but the, there's, there's that 400,000 didn't make it. My position was here in the nose with 250 calibers. Nearly 80 uh, years after his baptism by fire over Normandy, Ralph Goldsticker remains a beacon of courage and resilience that defined the greatest generation. But he insists that the true heroes were those who made the ultimate sacrifice. We have to respect them because of, we have our freedom because of those men. As he gets ready to step onto those hallowed beaches, Ralph Goldsticker's footprints will serve as a reminder that the tide of freedom was turned on D-Day thanks to the sacrifices of ordinary men who did extraordinary things. I'm just looking to be alive, that's all.